Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to defeat Miranda on Village of Shadows difficulty in Resident Evil 8. Here we go. Okay, well, the first phase is fairly straightforward. She'll try to slash you, and she'll generally speak before she attacks, and you'll hear two to three slashes. After that, you can turn around and shoot her. She'll also try to do this black wall of mold. Yeah, right there. And pretty much you just avoid that. And whenever you see a break in her attacking, that's when you want to shoot her. Aim for the head, but you can also shoot her in the white parts of the body. Okay, and right here she does these pillars and she'll do an AoE attack in the middle. You just want to hide behind the pillars. If you have any sort of explosives, you can use them on her at that point. And yeah, even when she's kind of like doing her shifting, you can still attack her. So I recommend shooting her whenever you can. Okay, so this is the next phase where she goes into spider form. It's probably the most annoying form because she'll jump onto these statues and she'll lunge at you. She'll also lunge on the ground, which is just one attack, but her multi attack, she'll do this. She'll shuffle around. So. Pretty much all you can do is try your best to run from it. She'll do a really loud grunt right before she's about to uh, do her final uh, multi-attack. Okay, so this is the third phase, which she'll grow wings and she'll fly around. Uh, pretty much she'll keep trying to dive you until she either lands a hit or if you can shoot her in the air, she'll do this little middle attack and that gives you a good opportunity to shoot her. Um, she'll also summon three of these energy balls, which you can shoot with your pistol, or you can just try to run around them, but I typically try to shoot them. Uh, but yeah, uh, even if you don't hit her body, all you have to do is shoot the general mass of her, and she'll try to go into the middle. Okay, so this is phase four. We'll gather a big attack. Just shoot her in the head. Pretty much all you can do. Shoot her in the head is a glow sprite block. And yeah, that's pretty much how I've handled that. I don't know if there's any other way around that, but yeah. Uh, in this darkness phase, pretty much you can try to attack her. I don't know if it actually does anything, but you can pull out your grenade launcher and do a flashbang and it'll take you out of the phase quickly. I want to call it the final phase, but maybe it's the, the second to last phase. She will hop between all of her forms, so when she does spider form, I recommend just using as many explosives as you can. Pipe bombs, uh, grenade launcher, whatever you need to do because you want to get her out of spider form ASAP. All the other forms are manageable, but spider form, it's going to kill you super quick. Okay, so I switched to the grenade launcher here in place of my pistol because you really don't need the pistol anymore. You're just, you're just trying to do as much damage to her as quickly as possible. Even when she goes up in the air, the grenade launcher should be able to take care of the orb. And yeah, um, I just recommend using all your big, powerful weapons on this second to last phase because you really want to take her down as quickly as possible because she is really annoying, especially when she switches fighter form. I feel like I take damage every time. Okay, so right here, pipe bombs come in real clutch because whenever she does spider form, you can just chuck a matter and Pretty much any opportunity you have to spam pipe bombs, you should do so. Because it does so, so much damage. Alright, and this is the final phase. Uh, I use the sniper out of desperation, but pretty much you just shoot her in the head as many times as possible. That was actually kind of close. Anyway, guys, uh, that's how to defeat Miranda. Um, 
Obviously, like, you could even have better upgraded weapons and be way more fine than I was. I just, I didn't have that much money at the end, and I was like, oh no, uh, am I going to be able to beat her? But, you know, I, I guess it's fine. Uh, as long as you have an ample supply of pipe bombs, you should be fine. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great day, and good luck beating Resident Evil 8.